Now, because things get easier with React and because we can build those rich user interfaces with React and JavaScript, when working with React, we often build so-called single page applications. Because whilst we can use React to control parts of a HTML page, let's say some interactive sidebar, and therefore we add a, a widget, you could say, to a page where only a part of the page is controlled with React, it is more common to control the entire page with React, which means that we use React for everything we see on the screen and even for switching pages. So when we click on a link and we load a new page, as I did with Netflix when I clicked on my list, it looks to the user as if we switch the page, but we actually don't request a new HTML file from some server. Instead, we just used JavaScript through React.js to change what's visible on the screen. And that often leads to a smoother UI and a better user experience, as you see it at the example of Netflix. It's built with React and there we never request a second HTML page. Hence, it's a single page application where after the initial request to the site, React takes over and controls what we see on the screen. Now, throughout this course, we are going to learn React in depth. And we're going to start with this basic dummy demo here to learn about some core concepts. And then later throughout the course, we're going to build this meetup project, this mini project here, where we see more React features in action and where we can practice all those basics and where we then at the end really understand how React works and which features it brings.